Hey, Gerald, what do you think? Uh, obviously, you know, the big move with, with Sam, and uh, you know, we all know Corvac's coming on Thursday. Um, how much, what's the risk level for you there in your position? And obviously, kind of, for lack of a better term, your legacy kind of rests to some degree, you know, where the direction this team goes with this pick and number two. Can you just address that? That element of risk there, you know, which, which there always is perhaps, but when you're drafting this high, it becomes a little more about you. Yeah, no, I, I understand. Um, I, I would, I would say that I, I don't look at it from a, a legacy viewpoint. I feel like every decision we make has has risk. Um, obviously, the, the the pick at number two, there's a huge spotlight on that, and we understand that. Um, but with every decision, you try to you try to take the information. And the information you have at hand to make the best possible decision uh, that you can for the team moving forward. And so ultimately it goes back to our process that's led us up to this point. And you know, we, we feel good about, about the process, the meetings, um, the, the work that's been done leading up to this point so that we can make the best possible decision we can make. If I could just follow up quickly with regard to, you know, you look certain guys, but the guy that we all think you're going to pick uh, to some degree was not very much in the minds of the football public outside of your, your insiders of yourself only a year ago. And, and, and his stock certainly has shot up. Um, can you describe what it is? what is it about this time of year and how quarterbacks seem to, you know, the stock seems to skyrocket at this time of year and everybody's kind of tripping over each other trying to get that best quarterback. Um, you know, whereas some of these guys weren't really in the spotlight not long ago. Yeah, I think that, co- that uh, it goes back to how important the quarterback position is uh, in this game. And um, I think we saw it last year uh, down at LSU with uh, Joe Burrow um, really coming out of nowhere, having a stellar season and just improving his stock. So um, I think anytime. There's outstanding play at quarterback. It's it's going to be noticed, 